school. Heads. Heads of schools. It is tails. Belgium were their favourites according to the bat versus ball all there. 106 to 104 in this match. And I suppose, here we go, the first ball. Amazai comes in and he gets a wicket straight away. It's a boogie, oogie, woogie, Kookaburra fireball. And uh, Majid gets beaten. The left hander, he's a promising prospect. He's played some exciting cricket at times, has Majid. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day on the cross to the other side. Up in the air. This could be a chance. Fielder is trying to get there and he can't. And I think this probably does go all the way. You're going to have to check this. Hits this pretty well, and just keep an eye on this. And yeah, that's six runs. This time he places down the ground, and it's just out of reach of the fielder as it goes for four runs. Nice shot. This one looks like it will go all the way, and it does. Bolle, bolle, bolle. Well, this one is going all the way. It uh, just strays his line slightly. He's on the legs and he's been picked up early by Hinkley. This is in the air, but it stays here as it crushes into the banner. Stronger together. Well, Scotland, they have become stronger together. Hit straight down the ground. This will be four runs. This time he does go outside the off and the field is not going to get there. Here's a Marty who's back and he's going to bowl a no ball first up that's going to go the journey. And this is a worst case scenario really. Beautifully hit and it's going to stay hit right out of the middle of the bat. Well that is sweeter than a bowl of Rasmalai. Seis queridas mas. Up in the air and this is going to be four runs. Rizak gets away with it. Well they're not wow. going to miss this one surely. No well this one both of them go up in symmetrical style. That one will be called a no ball. Well, that's how you get seven. <laughs> and this one looks like it's going to the boundary. How far does it go? Well, manos arriba, Vitro. And this is aerial catchable and taken, no mistakes. And it just doesn't hit this cleanly, I think, Jarvis. I think he plays the shot. He's relying on more placement and timing to get this past the fielder. You just get the feeling if he hits this hard, if he clobbers this, he's maybe going to get reward for the shot, but he doesn't. Ball as well. Edged, four runs, and a bit of luck there for Naila. Hay poquito de suerte ahí. Full toss, hit hard. I think this dips. I think Hyde is okay. Fielder gets his fingers oh. on it, makes a stop. And now they're asking the question here. And he's well, giving him out. Give Correct. Yeah, he's, he's gone. Yeah. I mean, for me, there was always two there. Knowing how well these two run, there must have been some sort of hesitation in the middle. I'm not so sure there is two there. Look, yeah, the look. thing is, it, it's two as long as he doesn't recover quickly, but he does. Yeah. And he hasn't been on song, has Razak. And they're going back to him. His first over was uh, expensive. Goes for the shot, but the fielder comes in, should take it. And does take it. Good catch. And uh, that's the end oh, for Callum Garden. He'll be a little bit disappointed. I don't think this shot was on, really. Pretty easily last time. This is hit well, and I think he's going to stay hit. Yes, it does. Naila hits this straight down the ground, and he's going to get four runs. So, uh, this will get four as well. Whips it in the air. It's another chance, and this one has been taken. So, if anything, that uh, missed opportunity only cost them just the one run. Kestajard going for the big boundary to finish the innings off. Doesn't get it. They will finish on 122. will be Muneeb Mohammed and, uh, opening up and Mohammed Suleiman is the non-striker. Here goes the first delivery. And they do go with spin. And I was expecting this, to be honest. I think uh, they want to keep the, the pace off. 
Give you some stats on him at the moment. And this is hit firmly, and it stays hit. It goes all the way. Bolle, 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 kinna sona. And this one, they're asking a question. He's going to be gone. He's six and out. And uh, well, Jack Hogarth has done it again. Well, he seems to be a bit of an LBW specialist. So it's uh, boom, six, and the next one is gone. Gets it pretty well, and he's going to get four. And uh, trying to just sneak this one through. This one, he just holds back slightly. Fielder's got to get down. He does. He gets down, gets dirty. Guffy course, he's got their field on it. Ball stuff, can do Lewis O'Donnell. But Joka, luck here, four more. Oh, wow, this is a bit of a misfield here. And Jasper Davison gets this wrong. That's a big bonus. Ali Raza coming off three fours, and this will be a fourth for Cuatro Carreras Mas. It's Hogarth, and once again, we see the ball, which is in the air, and it's dropped. It's dropped a deep square leg. That could be a big moment in the game. And I don't even know if they run here. That was a fairly regulation chance down to Mohamed Majid at deep backwards square leg, and he's having a Barry Crocker of a game, really. He went first ball, and then he spills a fairly easy chance. Just continue on here. There's another chance. This time it is taken. So Ali Raza goes the very next ball. And it doesn't cost Scott and Lever at all. Hogarth has two. Uh, Lewis O'Donnell, I think it is, that takes the catch, comes up screaming. Absolutely fantastic. And this is also fantastic with Sherry Butt, who finally gets something away. This will be four. Breezy kind of a day today. And this is hit straight and it's hit pretty well. Maximo. Sharp ball. The fifth. And it goes with the angle straight away, but this is going nowhere. It's going to be caught. Manib, you see, just tried to go across the line, but he gets a leading edge. It was caught in the circle, and Uzet with the immediate strike in the fifth. It's 50 for three, and the left-hander has to go. Manib Muhammad out for nine. Next game against Luxembourg. Well, this is a chance, or is it? I think it is. It's flying down to third man, and it has been taken down there by Jasper Davidson. So Sherry Butt looked good for 16, but he's another batter that can't get out of the teens. And so Shah has two and three balls, and the game turning in the fifth over. It's 51 for four. And he smacks the first ball out of the ground. Maximo. And that's what Sabres thinks of this. He was the golden ball hero last night. He's the man that hit it for six in the driving rain. In qualifier one. Gets a full toss and smacks it for six as well. Maximo. Two out of two for Sabre. Who's that sharp? Yeah! He likes it, and he's gone. He gets a little bit of a feather on it. Last ball of the over, 6-6 six, six and out for Sabre Zakil. And it wasn't the best delivery, but Sharp will get a third wicket in the over. Three for 13 in the, thir in the fifth over, and at the halfway point, it's 63 for five. This time, Rahimi slices it. This could be out as well. He can't get there, and it's going to be four. It is four. And now he's going to get popped down to the ground by Rahimi. Maximo. That's gone a long, long way. Rahimi looks like he's the man that could take Belgium deep here. Size field. Rahimi's in trouble here. He's in a lot of trouble. And Kessajad will take the catch. So Rahimi's got as well. He's another player that's going to go between 10 and 20. And Belgium, their high-risk approach, well, it's got them some runs, but it's also causing a boatload of wickets here in the second innings in two hours. Well, here's Safat, he'll be the next one to go and form an orderly queue because it's going to be another wicket and Scotland are uh, turning it up here on finals day. This time it's Jarvis with the catch and Safat goes. And so we've got two new batters that haven't faced the ball yet and Belgium losing their weight. They wanted to chase, but right now... Well, Marty says enough's enough and he whacks a six into the jungle. Well, dropped and that's a real stinger for Indy. <laughs> Now this is hit, and it's hit pretty high. The fielder looks, but he's going to have to just watch it. That's back-to-back -back sixes from Amadi. Amadi wants three in a row. He tries. It's a false shot. Sajad, the pressure's on him, and he drops it. He absolutely cooks that one. And Sajad, he never looked like dropping one all week. Once again, the, the Belgians, they've fallen for the same trick. Caught, almost caught on the offside, and, and what a big moment, and what a big let off. And it's Neil who's going to go. Now, this is another catching opportunity, but this time it'll be caught. So Amadi is going to go the very next ball. So he gets dropped, but then he gets caught. And, well, unfortunately for Belgium, they are running out of batters despite having the run rate under control. Now it's 90 for eight. Captain 
Up in the air, should be an opportunity. Was well, the winger to take hold of this? Well, it just keeps going. I think the wind does take it. It's six more. Shaba, Shaba, Kinna, Sona. This is in the air. This one should be taken. He's got all the time in the world, and he does. And uh, just like that, they lose the ninth wicket. And it's the wicket of Wakas Raja. He falls for four off his... Well, actually, that's how just Amadzai goes. Well, this is a Gundy ball, and there will be a boundary. And uh, that, though, is the end of this match. And uh, though Neil gets hit for four, uh, that is all it will be. Well, he wants some more. He's still standing there, is the batter. It's uh, Raja saying, is that it? Can I, can I have a few more? Well, no, you can't, buddy. you got to go. It's the end of the innings. They will finish on the Nelson 111.